Alright, now, the hottest thing for spring coming up is bronzer. It's been in for years. But now what we're seeing is a return to more of a matte bronzer. One of my favorite bronzers is Wet n Wild Bronzer in Medium. It's the perfect color bronzer that you're going to find. And what you would do is do the same technique with your blush brush. Don't use a powder brush to put bronzer on. But the trick is not to put it on everywhere. The trick is to only put it on where the sun would get you anyway. So it would be the top of the nose the bottom of the chin, and you've put blush on already, so the trick would be to put it back by the ear and blend it so it comes a little bit into the blush, but you want to make sure that you don't cover the blush with your bronzer. Now the trick to going back by the ear is you want to kind of create more of a sculpted cheekbone effect, and the trick to that is, is what I call the two finger technique. You put one finger above the ear, one finger below the ear. Make sure the bottom finger is straight on the face, you're not going up or down. And then the entire placement would be right between the two fingers. And that's how you know that you have it exactly in the right spot. Now go on top of the nose if you want. Don't go across the forehead because then you look like you have a dirty forehead. If she didn't have any bangs on, what I would do is just go on the top of the hairline. And that is usually all you need to create a bronzed effect without creating an entire face. You just put it on only in specific spots.